Virgo friends. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. So I'm going to do your December 2018 monthly love reading. I hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be like for December. So Merry Christmas to all of you. I really do hope you all have a beautiful holiday season. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Please keep in mind, Virgo, it is a general reading. I am reading for so many of you, so it's impossible, you know, for it to resonate for all of you. So if it doesn't, please watch your other signs. I just want to thank you all so very much, you know, for your support throughout the year, your kindness, love, for subscribing to the channel. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Really, I truly appreciate you guys more than you know. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go if you'd like a quick question answered. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. We do Facebook Live every Wednesday for a weekly for each sign. We have so much fun. So I'd love to see some of you over there. I'm using the Crystal Visions. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. Okay, Virgo. December 2018 for Virgo. The Six of Swords did flip out for you guys. It could be, you know, traveling, eventually moving forward, just moving away from shitty times to much more calmer times. I have to drop another card. It's not flipped out. I'm not even going to look at it. <coughs> okay. Virgo. Essential issue is the Six of Wands. Beautiful. There's you or a Gemini. Wow, very nice. The Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Sag, it's, I just did Sag, and they just had that card, too. And the Emperor. Jeez, and I shuffled the heck out of these. Aries Taurus here. Page of Pentacles. The Tower. Virgo, you have some powerful stuff going on here. Eight of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. That's at the bottom. Okay, the Five of Cups. You know, guys, let me say this. <coughs> I am so sorry, Virgo. It's my first feeling when I look at this reading. That there is a lot of encouragement in this reading to um, take action in your love life. And there are decisions that need to be made and you need to make them. You know, your central issue is the Six of Wands. So 
you know, whether you're single, married, coupled, in between, it doesn't matter. You do have victory with you. You know, so any type of struggle that you're dealing with, or if your love life, you know, if your relationship is just a little bit rocky, there is success with this. As long as you're taking charge, like every card down this row, you know, like I said, all major arcanas, powerful ones too, you know, these are not subtle cards. You have got to take control and you will be successful. You know, I love the Ace of Pentacles in this deck. You know, because of this beautiful heart in the middle. I do feel like something is being offered to you. But, you know, it's like... Okay. I feel like for those of you that are single, there could be someone that's coming into your life, but I feel like you're not ready to jump right into this relationship. I feel like you have some concerns. You know, I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, you're thinking, you're contemplating, you know, you're wondering. You know, if this person is, is a good fit for you, can I trust this person? You're really contemplating and thinking about things. Weighing the pros and the cons. Should I even be in this relationship? You know, how is this going to affect your life? But I feel like there is happiness and abundance being offered to you. Some of you, sure, you're definitely reassessing your current relationship to this person. You know, wondering, you know, does this person truly, deeply, is this person really making me happy? Are they giving me the love and attention that I deserve? Virgo, I really do feel with the magician, it's totally up to you. You know... It's going to be totally up to you. Are, are you are you going to are you letting people into your life or what are you going to do about your current situation? And I do feel like, you know, if if you have your concerns, you know, and I do do see some interesting cards. You know, for those of you that are questioning your relationship, we do have the 5 of cups here. And the Six of Cups is under this. But this kind of means that you're sad and disappointed that something didn't work out. You know, you might be doing the une unexpected and taking off, walking away with the Eight of Cups. Emotionally walking away from what is no longer serving you anymore. It's not bringing you happiness or joy, so you're done. And you're walking away, and I feel for some of you, you're going to shock people around you by leaving a relationship. Even if you've been together for many, many years, you're definitely going to shock somebody by walking away with the tower, I feel. You might even shock the shit out of yourself, Virgo. Really? But I think I think it's you know I, I'm saying that for you guys. I'm, listen, I'm a Virgo too. You guys know that. You know, it's not something that we would just typically do. 
Um, but I think you planned this out. You're definitely going to shock somebody by walking away, but it's because you're no longer happy. And, you know, this is going to work out for you with the Six of Wands. It is. The Six of Swords falling out. That's two Sixes. And the Six of Cups is under here. That's three Sixes. Making a decision. Yep, I see that here. And, you know, this Knight of Pentacles could be somebody new coming into your life. You know, for some of you, it could be new opportunities, new experiences. You know, I feel like for some of you, you do have... Like, you, you, I just... Yeah, you do the unexpected, Virgo. You do the unexpected. And you're just like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm done being unhappy. I've already thought about this. I've examined it carefully. You know, all these really line up too. And end at the Knight of Pentacles and I feel like It's meeting new people, new experiences. You know, nights represent change and movement, some type of change in your love life. After you have thoroughly thought about it, examined what's going on in your life. And for some of you, like I said, it's just that you're unhappy or you're just disappointed. Maybe you wanted something to really work out with someone from the past, maybe even, but unfortunately it just didn't. But I feel like someone is... sad that it didn't. You know, for some of you it might not be that you're walking away from a relationship, especially if you're not in one. You know, it could be that you do the unexpected and decide to just leave the past behind you. you know, with the Eight of Cups, even the Six of Cups, but emotional baggage. You know, and what could happen here is when you finally leave the past behind you and move on, the unexpected happens. And a new person just, poof, literally out of nowhere, comes into your life. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, maybe an Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Now, someone who's maybe even older, wiser, financially stable. You know, I feel like those of you that are looking at relationships. Maybe you choose to, you know, leave. There, there's absolutely someone else coming in for you. I, I definitely see that. I really, really, really do. Let's clarify it, though. Spiral. I'm also going to get you a Romance Angels card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty, I'm going to, like, clarify each row.
Okay, I'm just gonna take them. They both flipped out. <coughs> so sorry, guys. Okay, judgment. Listen, with the you don't have to settle. You know, whether you're single or married, you know, for some of you, judgment can be that you're giving someone a second chance. Or vice versa. You know, judgment is fresh starts, new beginnings. This is rising up from past difficulties. You know, a new beginning after being in a painful place. Within a relationship. Like I said, this is definitely a new beginning. Interesting. The King of Pentacles. Earth sign person. Virgo Taurus Capricorn that's coming into your life. This definitely applies to those of you that are single. And the Eight of Swords here, don't feel trapped with whatever it is that's going on with you. You know, you do have some very interesting messages here, Virgo, where you are, you know, really examining and thinking and contemplating about your love life, your relationship. Maybe not feeling as happy as you should. You know, and if that's the case, don't feel trapped. You know, especially with the sun card here. You know, this is happiness. You know, this is saying that there will be a positive outcome in your love life. You know, that there will be positive events, happiness, contentment, you know, it's, it's children, marriage. Those of you that are single, definitely a new, uh, new people coming into your life. And those of you that are struggling within your relationships, I just feel like you really will make the right decision. Whether that means, you know, you choose to move on or you might choose to give someone a second chance. And it's no coincidence that the Six of Cups is under that. And then the Two of Cups, I mean the Two of Swords. And then the King of Wands. That's interesting. You probably decided this in Scorpio season. And then Judgment again. You woke up. You heard that call. Interesting. How all of these cards pretty much resonate with the entire reading. Amazing. Let's see what else we get. Virgo, December 2018. Virgo, there's definitely positive things coming in. And I think for some of you, you're going to be shocked to shit. Really. Wow. As soon as I said that, none of them fell off. I wasn't really focused yet. Virgo, December 2018. Virgo. Okay. Wow. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. That means take action. Now, please. Because that is exactly the first message I got in this reading was to take action in your love life. Decisions that need to be made immediately. Okay, Virgo, and, it, and you will be successful. Some of you, I do think you're dealing with a Leo as well. Okay. All right, my Virgos, absolutely love you guys. Very nice reading, really. Not bad at all. Love it. If it didn't resonate, again, please watch your other signs. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I love you guys. I'll see you back here soon.